Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. Battlefield 5 is some of the most iconic vehicles of World War II. The Tiger Tank, Spitfire, and the Stuka. But one vehicle stands out from all the rest. The German V-1. The V-1 rocket was the first of the German vengeance weapons to fall on Great Britain in World War II. Designed to strike large cities like London, this early cruise missile didn't need to be accurate. It needed to be deadly. Powered by a pulse jet engine, the V-1 could deliver over 1,800 pounds or 850 kilograms of explosives to its target at the top speed of 415 miles per hour or 670 kilometers per hour. It's this pulse jet engine that gives the V-1 its signature sound and nicknames like the buzz bomb or doodle bug. The drone of the V-1 is very unique and it's loud. Audible up to 10 miles away, the sound is so rhythmic, it's almost calming. Many would argue that this sound is what makes the V-1 so terrifying, but they'd be wrong. It's actually the absence of the sound that strikes fear, and there's a very simple explanation for this. When the V-1 reaches its target, its guidance system puts the flying bomb into a steep dive. This interrupts fuel flow and cuts off the engine, resulting in an eerie calm before the impact. Londoners quickly learned the sudden absence of the V-1's engine sound meant that they were in immediate danger. Although this design flaw was eventually fixed, the mystique around the V-1 remains. Human hearing and the way we interpret sounds is absolutely fascinating. On a very basic level, we rely on sound to survive. We can acclimate to noises quickly, but going from a cacophony of sound to nothing impacts us in an even more compelling way. It actually makes us uncomfortable while hyper-focusing our other senses to compensate. It's one of my favorite tricks used in cinema and one of the reasons I loved Holdo's sacrifice scene from Star Wars The Last Jedi. The utter silence focuses your vision on the spectacle before you, making it all the more impressive. In a way, the V-1 duplicates this effect, getting louder and louder on the battlefield before the engine abruptly cuts out. In the back of our minds, we know what follows next. The resulting explosion again cracks the silence and batters our ears, now desperate to locate noise. It's a jarring experience, which makes it easy to understand how effective these flying bombs were as terror weapons. On top of this, DICE actually went to some crazy lengths to get a proper pulse jet sound for the V-1 in Battlefield 5. The devs actually took a sound crew to northern Sweden, where some people deprived of regular sunlight actually build snowmobiles powered by pulse jets nearly identical to the design of the B-1 power plant. It's this sound that you hear in Battlefield 5. During World War II, over 30,000 V-1s were built. The weapon was cheap to produce, costing only about 2% the cost of a twin-engine bomber, and it put few German pilots at risk. Ironically, the concept was actually pitched to the German Luftwaffe as early as 1935, but was rejected because it was, quote, uninteresting from the tactical viewpoint, end quote. This short-sightedness probably cost Germany much of its air force during the Battle of Britain. Had they embraced the idea of an area bombardment weapon sooner, things may well have turned out differently when Hitler ordered the bombing of civilian targets. Nearly 10,000 V-1s were launched against the UK during World War II, and those that made it to their target inflicted over 22,000 casualties. At the peak of the terror bombing campaign, hundreds a day were being fired at London. As the Allies made headway in mainland Europe after D-Day, thousands of V-1s were launched against cities like Antwerp in late 1944 to 1945. In Battlefield 5, the V-1 is more value than just clearing out objectives. It's also an extremely effective distraction. When players hear the drone of the doodlebug overhead, everyone looks to the sky to try and determine where it's headed, just like London civilians did decades ago. This makes it easier to sneak up on your foes. I'm curious what you think of the V-1 in Battlefield 5. Is it cool or is it just a gimmick? Tell me in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, share, and subscribe. Make sure to hit that notification bell for the latest news on Battlefield 5. 
And as always, thanks for watching.